All right, what is good, you guys? I am a little late to the party, but today we are going to check out something pretty dope called Chromatic by Landar. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you guys will know the next time I have another video available. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you do not like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, I really don't care. Yeah, so Landar actually has a dope product called Chromatic. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a quick beat inside of Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Chromatic. Let's go ahead and see what this thing is about. And we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the features and stuff while I'm making a beat. So let's get to it. All right, so we're now in Logic Pro and I have an instance of Chromatic pulled up already. And the first thing that you're gonna need to use this is internet. You're gonna need some internet to use this. So go ahead and make sure your internet is good. Once you do that, everything is pretty cool. All right, so the first thing that we notice when we open up this plugin is as you can see, it starts off with moods and it has sets. Now, the thing I like about it is moods, if you wanna get in like, a, like a particular vibe or something like that, you can just go ahead and just click through the different moods. Of course, I've already clicked on some stuff that I've already liked. I'm a cinematic type of a guy, so I went ahead and just went into a cinematic textures and I went through and I just kind of played some stuff and I found something that I like. So let me go ahead and play you a few of the cinematic textures that are on here. I'm not going to play everything, but you'll kind of get the gist of what this thing is about. So if you want to hear it, here goes something right here called orchestral pressure. Sounds pretty cool. We got uh, Crystal Force. And they got Cinematic Trap. All right, so as you guys can see, sounds pretty decent and it's basically a loop based type of a software. And so you can go ahead and pick whatever you like and then it'll spread it across the keys to where you can go ahead and chop it up and do your thing to it. I've already found one that I liked already and it is called Parisian Soul right here. So this is the one I got. Let me go ahead and open this thing up. One thing I do like about it is it actually gives a shout out to the people that have actually made the sample. So big shout out to Landar for actually giving the spotlight on the people that actually made these samples so that's pretty dope so the one thing that you can notice is when you open this up it opens up into a set and at the top of each set you have a filter lo-fi reverb delay you have mix effects and you have an output on here and you can actually change the key to whatever key you want to put it in here so you got sharp keys flat keys major and minor chord types okay so that's real dope real simple now another thing is you can play all your samples across these pads right here or you can play them on your keyboard or you can type them into your computer and then at the top right here these are your black keys and of course these do things to your samples, like reverse it. Like one thing that I really like about this is this has a halftime on here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how this thing kind of works when you play the sample and then play the black keys to kind of manipulate the sound. Now, if I go ahead and play the black key with that loop, like say for instance, we want to shoot this loop an octave up, I can go ahead and play that key with the black key. Dope. And if I want to shift this thing an octave down, I can just play the next black key, which is right here. Oh, that's dope. And then to make things even better, right here, they do a halftime and it'll pitch it down an octave. So check this out. That's actually kind of dope. Or if we don't want to pitch it down an octave and just use it at halftime, we can go right here to this E flat right here while we're playing this key right here and then we can just press it and then add the halftime to it. And they have another ton of effects on here so I can go over here and press this. That's that reverse. Ooh. Ooh, 
and they got a little tape stop on here I see and of course we can go ahead and add effects to it as well so if I'm playing this I can go ahead and put a filter on here and then they have a low file on here as well and they have a reverb And they have a delay that's pretty dope right here. And if you like all those effects on there and you think it might be too much, you can actually pull back the mix effects on here. So watch this. So it's actually pretty cool. And then of course, you can go ahead and change the key if you don't like the key. I'm gonna keep it in here at C minor. I like making beats in C minor. So let's go ahead and make a beat with Chromatic. I'm gonna go ahead and use this texture first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add something else in it, and then we'll add some drums from my uh, drum kits. So if you have not gotten my drum kits, you need to go ahead and uh, click that link in the description and get my drum kits. All right, so we just made like a quick little eight bar loop right here. And let's go ahead and play that back. So now that we have this duplicated, we're gonna go ahead and add some effects to it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So the best way to kind of add effects to it is once you get everything down, now you can go ahead and use the black keys, which I like to use the pitch down effect on here because I thought it sounded pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil tool and I'm gonna click on this, make this start at the beginning and I'm gonna just drag this all the way over. So I'm gonna drag this right here. So now this section of the loop right here is gonna have the pitch down effect. So let's go ahead and play that. So now we have two sections of this loop and it sounds pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is instead of keeping it like this, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight everything and I'm gonna bounce it down to a wave because I like how it sounds and I don't want my computer using a whole bunch of processing even though this is the new M1 Mac that sounds very good and can hold just about everything because it's like fully maxed. But I'm gonna go ahead and bounce it down anyway. So let's go ahead and bounce this down I'm gonna do a bounce in place and we're gonna call this work loop one. All right, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and go back to the plugin. Let's go into the sets section of the plugin and let's find something and let's add that in there as well. All right, so we're in sets and as you can see, you can go ahead and add whatever you want and we can look up certain things. So let's go ahead and look up vocals. Everybody likes vocals, right? So let's go around here and we got some vocal sets right here and let's go ahead and play them and see what we can find and let's keep everything in the same key with C minor. Six, six, uno, whoever that you know. All right, so I found something that I kind of like. It's called Haunted Vocals. Let's go ahead and play it. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and download that. And let's go ahead and open this up. And as you guys can see, this thing is very simple. It's right to the point. Once you like some, just open it up, play it, and just get to work. All right, so I found some vocal stuff that's gonna be really quick. This beat's gonna be really quick. I'm just trying to make it so you guys can see how good this thing is. So I found this right here. And I found this one right here. So I'm just gonna add those in real quick.
And just like I did the last time on the last eight bars, I'm gonna add that pitch down effect. So let's go ahead and hear everything together. All right, cool. So now that I got that done, let's go ahead and bounce all this down and make this into a wave. All right, so on this beat, I think it'll be dope to use the Bolo X Factor kit. So let's go ahead and add a clap in here real quick. Let's go ahead and add a clap and let's use Optimized. Let's add that. All right, let's add a hi-hat to it right now. And of course, like I have my hi-hats a little different. I don't play them in, I actually use them in the MIDI region and I used to use the brush tool when I put my hi-hats in here. So let's go ahead and add this brush tool in here and let's put this at one eighth note for right now. And let's go ahead and add these bad boys in here. So let's go right here and just add those real quick. And then let's go ahead and change these to a one sixteenth triplet. And just add something like this, like a little roll down. And push these back just a little bit. Cool, let's go ahead and duplicate that. Let's go ahead and add a snare. Let's go ahead and do that. Put that in optimized. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this right on top and match that right there with the clap. And let's go ahead and add that in there. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Let's go ahead and add a bass to it right now. Ooh, that's dirty. Let's go ahead and add that in there real quick. Let's go ahead and do that optimized. And we're going to turn this down to mono. And we're going to do this as a one shot. Come on now. That was too easy. Too easy. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more parts. As you guys can see, Chromatic is dope, man. It is dope. It's something that I believe you guys can use in your arsenal. I actually kind of like it. It's pretty cool. And uh, if you want it, go ahead and click that link in the description and go ahead and get Chromatic. And uh, make sure you guys get my drum kits as well. All right, so hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out. And check out the beat at the end of the video.